the way this started is actually quite funny because I started getting two and three phone calls every day. Do you guys have Trump face masks? And I said, no ma'am, but let me research it. And I did research it and most of the stuff is made in China. It would have taken forever. I didn't like it. So I went like, hold on, let me call a friend of mine right here for a while. And she's a great seamstress. She got the mask. She was making masks on her own, not Trump masks, to donate and to sell to some friends. And I said, could you make me a few reds and blacks so that I can put the Trump thing on? And she said, okay, how many do you need? I said, I'll do like a dozen. It's just a few people that have called. So she made them. And they are an amazing production from the pocket to put a filter that goes all the way through to a place to put the wire. I mean, this is high quality mask. And um, I put it on our Facebook page. Not only did it increase, but she mentioned it on her Twitter. Now we are like out of control. We have made, this started two weeks ago. This is the third week we're going into it. And uh, we've already made a hundred masks and she's in the process of getting materials for another 50. And they are all promised, meaning people have paid us ahead. I have actually little bags over here of people that have already paid that I'm finally able to fulfill and they're coming to get them and I give it to them. This has jumped out to be an amazing project. I am really very impressed by the Trump supporters that are coming to the store to boldly display who they're voting for in 2020.